Classic 102.7, the Entrepreneurs Network. And in the studio with me this evening, Sean Tunison from Growth Point Properties. Hi, Sean. Welcome to the program. Evening. Now, we're talking about uh, um, an upliftment program that, that you are basically speaking about this evening. Tell us about uh, Growth Point and, and what the, the plan, what's the object of the exercise? Um, Tony, as you know, Growth Point is one of the largest or is the, the largest listed property company in South Africa. Mm. And um, their focus about three years ago was to really start up an enterprise development program that will look at entrepreneurs or SMMEs within the property sectors okay. and, and provide um, development for those op- for those entrepreneurs mm. uh, and that will link them to opportunities within the market space. Okay. And, and that's really where Property Point as the Growth Point's Enterprise Development Initiative uh, was born out of. Okay. So would I be correct in assuming it's, it's about businesses that are looking for the commercial properties and offices and factories and so on that, that they may need to expand or even start up? Um, the, f- the focus of the program is we support uh, SMMEs within the property services space, right. where we provide them with an incubation program. Yeah. Um, we assist them with development mm. uh, to look at where's the gaps within their businesses. Mm. And then we provide them with market opportunities or specifically business opportunities with Growth Point. So they eventually become part of our supply chain as well and, yeah. and, and where we need assistance for, for, for our buildings. Sure. Um, whether it's a cleaning company, a security company, within the property services spectrum. Maintenance, uh, just about everything, as yeah. you say, in services. This is obviously nationwide. Yes, we the program initially started in Johannesburg. Um, it was running in Johannesburg for about two years. And last year, at the end of the year, we launched it in Cape Town as well. So at the at current, it's operating in Gauteng and in Cape Town. In Cape Town. And how many uh, companies, small businesses, have, have been able to benefit from the program so far? Um, in terms of the program, we have two two sides of the program. One is an incubation program where we incubate at least 15 businesses at a time. Um, in Johannesburg, we've had two successful incubation programs, so that's over 30 businesses. And yep. in Cape Town, we started off with, with a group of businesses down there as well, 12 businesses. We also have another element to the program called an information platform where we provide uh, information and networking opportunities and in, uh, information sessions for other businesses. Um, businesses that have attended those sessions um, count to over a thousand businesses. Uh, obviously, there's going to be more opportunities for other companies to benefit from what you're doing. That's correct. Yeah. How do people uh, apply for that? What is the uh, the process for that? And then, what's involved in incubation? How do you help them? Our, our basic selection criteria is really that a business needs to be in operation for two years. Yeah. Uh, they need to be 51% black owned mm. um, and they need to be within the property services sector. And what we then also say is the business needs to have the potential for growth, something very intangible. Mm. Uh, but it's something that we pick up when we do interview businesses on a one-on-one basis. So that's the broad selection criteria. The business would then be able to apply to us. We work with uh, another NGO called the business place as well. So we get referrals from the business place yeah. or businesses that do not meet growth points procurement standards and uh, get referred through to the program. Um, or businesses would uh, contact us via our, our website, mm-hmm. uh, propertypoint.org.za, uh, uh, and submit their business profile. Mm-hmm. We would assess their uh, uh, business profile and then um, put them on our database. When we then do the selection for our incubation programs, which is normally on an annual basis, we then invite businesses to apply. Uh, that's on our database to apply for the incubation program. What time of, of year is that where they can apply? It's um, in Johannesburg. It's run. In, it's in May. Okay. Um, and in Cape Town, we started the program in November, so the next intake will probably yeah. a bit later. In but for year. counting May, it will be May. So, so they need to start looking at that application quite soon. That's correct. We yeah. have quite yeah. a few businesses on our database because we do get inquiries all the time. Mm. Um, mm. And the incubation program really looks at, as a business, what is your gaps in growing. Our vision for Property Point is really to make businesses procurement ready. Mm. So not just to provide them with 
more development and more training, but to see what is the gaps that they have in their business and why are they not getting procurement opportunities in the market mm. and try to fulfill that gap and, and fill that gap for those businesses. So, um, and as you say, they're all service industries that are for these commercial properties that are, again, for small businesses and so on, maybe even larger businesses. But it's right across the board then in terms of the kind of businesses you look at to, to put through incubation, et cetera. Yes, it's, it's, it needs to be property related. That's, yeah. that's one of the main criteria. Yeah. And it would be across the board. Yeah. Now, um, give us that website address, by, by the way, again, would you for applications and so on? Um, it's www.propertypoint.org.za. Right. And so far, you, you say up in Gauteng, 15 people went through in, in last year, since May of last year. Yes. In total, when we initially launched the program in 2009, yep. we incubated 15 businesses. And last year, we incubated another 15 businesses. Okay. In terms of our impact thus far, Tony, um, we, we really focus on measuring uh, economic impact. Um, we've been able to um, create business opportunities for these businesses to procurement value of over 13 million mm. that has resulted in over 200 jobs being created mm. Um, mm. And, and and that's that that's roughly about um, over 80 business linkages or procurement opportunities that have come through for those businesses um, the aim of the program is not just to create business opportunities our aim is we're saying that we want to develop businesses so that they can compete in the marketplace um, mm. effectively um, and and uh, whether it's getting an opportunity with Growth Point or whether it's getting an opportunity with any other player out there, right. they are able to stand on their own and effectively compete in the marketplace. Those that are selected and then go through the process, the incubation process, etc., are they then bound, tied to only Growth Point? Or, or, or? No, no, they're not tied to Growth Point. Mm. Um, Growth Point sponsors the program for them, mm. but we also try and create um, opportunities for them in the market through our networks. Mm. Um, we expose them to industry um, industry uh, opportunities, whether it's the SAPOA um, conventions or larger conventions that take place within the industry. Mm. And we try and create a platform for them to get opportunities in the market. Okay. You've done Cape Town, done obviously the, the hunting area. Uh, at what point will the likes of Durban, the likes of PE, um, Bloemfontein and so on, is there a plan to go everywhere, major centers? Yes, uh, in terms of the plan, we really want to make sure that we establish a program um, effectively within a, within a geographical area before moving on to the next. Mm. Mm. At this point in time, the expansion plan is really taken on where Growthwinds regional offices are as well. Mm. So next in line will most probably be Durban uh, within the next year. Um, and, and those are most probably the three major centers that we are looking at. Okay. Um, whether it will grow to the, the, the outlying areas, I think the potential is always there. I think yeah. we, we're trying to make sure that we get the recipe right yeah. and, and that we are building something that is sustainable yeah. um, and that it's not just, we're not just providing training for businesses, we're providing economic activity. Yeah. Now, I mean, as you move out into the, the rural areas as opposed to the major centers, um, those people that have those businesses that could benefit from the, from the scheme, from, from the way it is at the moment, uh, they're not always on the Internet. They don't have access to that. So uh, is there a way that people can make contact uh, for when you do expand uh, other, other than the Internet through a website? Is there a, another way to people? Um, they most probably will be able to give us a call as well. Yeah. Um, we work, uh, as I said, in conjunction with the business place, and the number they would be able to reach us on is 011-833-0340, and they could speak to one of our uh, project coordinators, Maxwell, Mm -hmm. uh, and he'll be able to provide them with all the necessary details. And then that way they can do the the old-fashioned way of actually filling in forms. That's correct. (laughs) With a pen. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) How dull and boring. But that's a a great scheme, great idea, and... uh, People can go to the website, find out all about the, the next intake, if you like, that's happening in, in May. Just give us that uh, one more time, the website, would you, where they can go? It is www.propertypoint.org.za. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. An email address that they could use as well is propertypoint at tbp.co.za. Mm-hmm. And that number again for Maxwell? 011 Excellent. Sean Tennyson from Growth Point Properties, thank you very much indeed for being on the Entrepreneurs Network this evening. Thank you. Thanks, Tony.
Well, that just about wraps up the Entrepreneurs Network for this evening. Uh, the interviews you heard will be available at classic.co.za and downloadable podcasts. I'll catch you bright and early tomorrow morning.